Hey, what's up everybody? Fred Minnick here and I'm in my hotel room in Las Vegas. I've been here all week uh, for uh, my Super Bowl festivities, have my big game bourbon, a huge, huge, huge win. Just an awesome, awesome event. Uh, and just been going to a bunch of parties and hanging out with people and just doing a lot of fun stuff. And of course, whenever I travel now, since I've I've been I've been doing Brazilian Jiu Jitsu for 14 months, and I'm so hooked on it. Wherever wherever I travel, wherever I go, I always make sure I either go to an open mat or I get a private lesson in. I always try to to get into a class, right? Because if you are um, if you're rolling and you if you don't roll for a week or a few days, you really feel it when you go back to your gym. It's crazy how you feel it if um, if you do not roll while you're out there. So I'm, um, you know, when I put it out there that I've been doing Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, one of the first people that reached out to me was the Ville Brothers uh, in here in uh, in Las Vegas and said, hey, if you're ever in Vegas, come roll with us. And, and so get this, uh, Matt, the owner of the gym, Right after we rolled, I brought him a bottle of bourbon. So when I knew he was a fan, so I br actually brought him a bottle of uh, Maker's Cellar Aged because he's been trying to get that. And I was like, you know what? Let me help you out. I'll bring you a bottle. And then he he uh, brought me what he thought he went to his favorite liquor store here in town, which is uh, Liquor Lineup. So Liquor Lineup here in Las Vegas. He goes to his uh, favorite liquor store, and he says, "Hey, uh, I've got Fred coming in to do a roll with me." And do a private lesson with him. And by the way, Matt's a badass. Like he's like a, a really accomplished Brazilian Jiu Jitsu practitioner, black belt, all that. But he's also like a leader in the community, so everybody like loves him. But just had this incredible role with him. And afterwards, he was like, "Hey, I got a present for you." And so this is it right here. This is the bottle. This is he's got an old. He brought me an old Forester uh, single barrel pick, and we cracked it open right after my roll and I want you this is the first time I've ever done anything like this so take a look at this uh this may very well be the first somewhat formal review of a in a, in a jiu-jitsu gym <laughs> but take a look at this and believe me uh I look like crap because I just got the crap beat out of me so go take a look at this Can't go wrong with an old forest or single barrel, man. Where's yours? Where's your glass? Sal. There you go. Cheers, my friend. Cheers, brother. Oh, damn. It's like, um, you remember the candy bar, Thousand Grand? Remember that candy bar? Tastes like that. Also tastes a little bit like a cross face um, <laughs> and a back choke, but that's a different story. <laughs> Thank you, Sal, for the bottle. This is awesome. Yeah, this is this is incredible. This is really freaking good. It's only 130. Doesn't taste like 130 proof. So now I want to do a formal review. I thought I still I can't get over like how how cool that was to roll and then to share a to share a dram with a friend like that. Um, you know, I was that was pretty special for me. But because I have the as this is what I do, right? I drink I, I drink whiskey for a living. I was like, you know, I should do this for some content. I should do a video of me tasting this uh, old Forester uh, single barrel from uh, from liquor lineup here in Las Vegas. And you know what? I got some time to kill. I got some time to kill. So let's go ahead and taste it in the room. So I've got a few more things to do before I go to the game tomorrow. So I am going to the Super Bowl. Very excited about that. But um, I figured, you know what? Let's do this. Now, here we go. And yes, I do travel with Glenn Cairns wherever I go. Now the the tasting note I think I called out in that video was thousand grand bar. Let's see if I get that here. 
Mm. It smells beautiful. A lot of nutmeg, a lot of roasted almonds, the chocolate. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, this is so good. There's so much chocolate here. Like I, I, I stand by the thousand grand note. It is absolutely, um, absolutely layered with that kind of like chocolate top layer of um, thousand grand. Also a little bit of that kind of nugget. I love it. Mm. Let's see. It's got a lot of maple syrup to it as well. So it was like a nice uh, maple syrup, thousand grand bar, a lot of chocolate. It's funny, but this tastes exactly the same to me, like after I rolled yesterday. And the reason why I say that's funny is that I have never done a tasting uh, after jujitsu. I've kind of like, I always like to give myself a few hours if I'm going to do a tasting. So, cause I had this like, I had this theory that getting choked like that might have an impact on my, on my tastings. But now that I do this, I don't think it did. It tastes, it tastes exactly the same as it did yesterday. I mean, today I have a little bit more words because I'm not, you know, I'm more in my element for a tasting experience, but. Hmm. Put in the comments, uh, if you do jujitsu, do you taste bourbon after a roll? That's probably gonna have like two comments. There might be like two people comment on that one. Damn, that's good. You know, this is 130.9 um, proof. Doesn't taste that hot at all. It tastes like 107 proof. It feels very velvety on the tongue. Uh, it's layered with those chocolate notes I was telling you about, thousand gram bar maple syrup notes. It's just absolutely gorgeous. And I'd say this is the best Old Forester single barrel I've had all year. It also happens to be the first single Old Forester single barrel I've had all year, but this is really delicious. Um, uh, if, I'm, if I'm giving this like a rating, this would be like 93 to 95. That's how good this is. So. Yeah, if, if I threw this in a blind tasting, I would be shocked if it did not finish uh, very high, if, if it didn't, if not winning it. But anyway, thank you for tuning in and um, letting me sip a little bourbon with you here from my hotel room in Las Vegas. And Las Vegas is a great town, but I got to tell you, the bourbon scene is getting depressing out here. It's uh, a lot more Crown Royal here kind of like taking over shelves and just like the bars don't seem to care as much about bourbon as they did five years ago let's hope let's hope we can change that let's hope we can get them back to caring about bourbon again and some places are great don't get me wrong but for the most part it's like ooh, looks rough anyway thanks for tuning in if you're not already please become a subscriber hit the like button tell a friend about the show or channel and if you'd like to learn more about Club Marzipan, which is my whiskey club that has access to my barrel picks and a lot of exclusive content, you can find more about that in the description. But be safe out there, friends. And remember, vodka sucks. Cheers.